Hi everyone and welcome to the Food Handler Solutions training website. Now in order to create an account on foodhandlersolutions.com, we will need to visit foodhandlersolutions.com by typing that URL into our navigation area. After we've uh, visited the Food Handler Solutions website, we're going to click on Food Handler Card at the top in the navigation area. On the Food Handler Card page, we're going to select our state. Now we can review our state information and requirements and we can click the green register now button. On the registration page, we're going to type in our information. Now, if you're a returning user up at the very top of the page, you can click the returning customer option and log into your account. If you have a coupon, you can click the option here for have a coupon and enter in your coupon code. Now, after we've entered in all of our information, we're going to create a unique password for our account. This password has to be 12 characters long, and it can be any combination of numbers and letters, but do not enter any special characters as they will not be accepted. Now, after we've um, entered in our password, we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page and we can review our information. Make sure that our product is correct, that we are purchasing a food handler permit for the correct state. And then at the very bottom, we're going to agree to our terms of service. If you would like to read our terms of service, you can click the words terms and conditions here. We're going to agree that all the information I have entered above is accurate. And we are going to agree that we will not divulge the information found inside of the course or exam to anyone. And we are going to continue to payment. Now, after we have continued to the payment page, we are going to enter in our payment credit card. And if you would like the payment processor to remember you for purchase uh, purchases, you are allowed to click the Remember Me option and it will remember you for future purchases through our website. If not, you can skip that option and just click Pay. After your payment has been successfully approved, you will be taken to the review page where you can see a receipt of your payment. All of this information can be printed out on your web browser. But in order to um, actually start the course after having paid, you can click on the click here to start course button and this will take you directly to the beginning of the exam. This is your new profile page that we just created and we can actually start the course right here by clicking on chapter number one.